Hey folks, welcome to you, welcome to all of you on your channel, that is on J Physics Maniac. So I think it's a long, long time. Uh, I took quite a long pause, going through a lot of uh, ups and downs. So finally, here again um, to meet you all. So basically, the journey for 2023 J Advance uh, will kick off now. So I'll be coming up with some really interesting problems which are not only subject relevant but also have different turns and twists and i will definitely try to incorporate newer concepts which will not only help you to understand the things in deeper but to pave the way in a lot easier way so yeah uh, so in this question what is say, said here that there is a point charge q which is kept at the origin the space around the origin can be considered as non-conducting sphere of radius tends to infinity and having a continuous charge distribution whose volume charge density is given by rho equal to minus q by 4 pi a e to the power minus r by a by r square so very complicated function and they have said that this a is a positive constant um, yeah sorry so let me take a different thing so yeah um, the potential at infinity can be considered to be zero as a standard thing and dielectric constant of the sphere is equal to one and it's a multiple option correct question they are saying total charge of the system is zero total charge of the system is q by two and they are asking to find out the magnitude of electrostatic field at a distance r from the origin so let us try to calculate the total charge first and before doing it um, first i have to calculate the charge due to charge distribution so total charge due to the given volume charge distribution we have to do a rigorous integration so dq equal to we can write rho dv rho is given as minus q by 4 pi a e to the power minus r by a by r square and dv for a spherically symmetric distribution we can write 4 pi r square dr so this 4 pi 4 pi cancels off this cancels off so minus q e to the power minus r by a dr so if i want to calculate uh, q because of that this integration will be from 0 to infinity as as this um, the, the 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 periphery of the sphere is being set up to infinity so i'll write minus q and this integration result will yield e to the power minus r by a divided by minus of 1 by a and that is 0 to infinity so this minus minus will become plus and this will become q into a and if i put the limit now that is quite interesting um, so what i will get from here i think uh, i missed one a one a was also there so this a and this a will get cancelled so we will not get this a so only q all right and then if i put infinity the first result will become zero minus e to the power zero is one so the result is coming to be minus q now you see due to the charge distribution the total charge is coming to be minus q already a charge q is kept at the origin so q total is coming to be q minus q which is equal to zero so yeah option a is correct clear now if i have to calculate the magnitude of electrostatic field at a distance r from the origin i will take the help of gauss law so this is the simplistic approach that we can follow we will simply write that close integration of e dot da is equal to q by epsilon naught and since it is spherically symmetric it is quite easy to do then e and da these both are radially outward so since they are radially outward so i'll just simply write close integration e dot da is equal to q by epsilon naught and e will become q by da if i close integrate 4 pi 4 pi epsilon naught r square all right and <coughs> because of that i can follow uh, this strategy over here yeah. so i can calculate this q so this q i have to calculate as a function of r so this limit whatever we got will be changed a little this is 0 to r e to the power minus r by a dr so i hope you are following me since i was calculating total q so i put 0 to infinity but since it's a radial distance r i'll just change the limit 0 to r e to the power minus r by a dr this is due to the volume charge right this is due to the volume charge so it will become q similar result i mean uh, yeah so q divided by a so this will become eventually q and this is e to the power minus r by a 0 to r so the result will become q into 
e to the power minus r by a minus 1. So this is volume charge, then q total will become how much? Center q charge is already there, plus q into e to the power minus r by a minus 1. So this plus q minus q cancels out. So q e to the power minus r by a. Then if I substitute over here, then e is equal to, I get, this is q enclosed. Uh, if we get confused, so let me minimize the confusion. So this is q enclosed, this is q enclosed. So here my q enclosed becomes q into e to the power minus r by a divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r square. Let me search for the answer. So I think c is the correct answer. Right. So in that way, it, it can simply be calculated. But now, now I have the uniqueness, the genuinity in the question. So what I do, I'll just apply a little bit tweak. Now, what is the tweak is earlier the row function is given to be q minus q by 4 pi a to the power minus r by a r square. Now I'm changing that function. In what way? Now I'm taking rho is equal to minus q by 4 pi a a cube e to the power minus r by a. So now if this is the function, how to calculate q total? So now q total will become center charge q plus of integration of rho dv. So q minus because of this q by 4 pi a cube integration of e to the power minus r by a into 4 pi r square dr 0 to infinity. So if I go on with the calculation, then this 4 pi 4 pi cancels off, then q minus q by a cube integration of 0 to infinity e to the power minus r by a r square dr. So here comes my trick and it's a very simple mathematical trick all of you know. I'll just try to put this integration in a much easier representation. So what I'm going to do here, you follow this trick over here, I'm just concentrating here 0 to infinity e to the power minus r by a r square dr. I'm going to rearrange this function as, I'll just simply write, let's take 1, no, I'll write a square 0 to infinity e to the power minus r by a. So since I have multiplied with a square, I will divide it by a square into dr. So this function will look like 0 to infinity e to the power minus r by a r by a whole square dr. Now, if you look at this function only, if you look at this function only, only this much, this is much similar to this form. Watch it out. 0 to infinity e to the power minus x, x to the power n minus 1 dx. So once you get this form, the answer becomes gamma n. This is called gamma function integration. You don't have to panic. You don't have to learn much about gamma function. If integration is this format, then value is gamma n and gamma n value becomes n minus 1 factorial. It's very simple. Now we compare with this. If you compare with this, this result comes gamma n minus 1 value is 2. So n minus 1 is 2. That means it is gamma 3 and gamma 3 result becomes this is equal to 2 factorial. 2 factorial is equal to 2 into 1 which is equal to 2. So this integration result 0 to infinity e to the power minus r by a r square dr produces the result a square into 2 since this a square was pre-existing. So now if I substitute q total will become q minus q by a cube into this total value is coming to be a square into 2. Watch out. This is coming a square into 2. So this cancels out. So we will get q minus 2q by a. So this will be the result in this situation. I hope. Oh, no, there is a calculation mistake. You know, I have a self proclaimed champion on this. So let's correct it. What's that here? You can watch out. This is a square integration 0 to infinity to the power minus 2 r. Sorry e to the power minus r by a into r by a whole square dr. Now what I have to do that let us take r by a is equal to z. So dr becomes a dz. So if I have to substitute here, then it becomes a square 0 to infinity e to the power minus z z square into 
a dz so it will become a cube integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus z z square dz now here it's clear so it becomes a cube gamma 3 so this value here becomes a cube into 2 factorial so that becomes 2a cube so now if i substitute q total will become q minus instead of this factor q by a cube into 2a cube which becomes q minus 2q which is equal to minus q so that's going to be the answer all of you have enjoyed and this is really a fantastic example of how to solve the cases and if any case you get such kind of integration you can apply this small trick of gamma function integration and really make it easy thank you so much keep learning see you next time bye bye